Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to reduce stutter and lag in games like PUBG, Fortnite, Rocket League while playing on a mid to high end system. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to do it. So first up, you're going to need a program called ISLC, which means Intelligent Standby List Cleaner which will help uh, reduce the RAM caching. You can see right now we're caching about 700 megabytes. If I didn't have this program, it would cache gigabytes of worth of data uh, into your SSD or hard drive, which is not good for games. So all you can do is open this program, set the parameters like so. So the first one a gigabyte the second one depends on how much memory you have so in my case I have 16 gigs of memory so I'll put about 70 percent of those 16 gigs so about 10 gigabytes uh, and uh, what I need to do as well is check these two marks so it automatically starts during startup and sometimes if you need urgent cleaning of the cache you can just click on this and you'll see on the task manager it will instantly show the updated cache. There we go. So that's the first step. Second step is what you need to do to reduce the workload on the graphics card. So if you're on NVIDIA, you just open the NVIDIA control panel. Once you open the NVIDIA control panel, all you need to do is jump on to manage 3D settings, head on to global settings uh, and you need to set the max FPS rate to your monitor's maximum. To find that, normally it's 60 but if you have a 144 or 240Hz monitor this number will depend on that. So in my case if I go here my refresh rate is 144Hz. Yours might be different, set it accordingly. Second option you need to turn on is the low latency mode. Now we can try the Ultra one, but Ultra one causes some applications to crash like Discord or OBS if you're streaming or you know talking to your mates while you're gaming. But on is stable for me, so I'm gonna leave it at on. It's better than off, so I'll do that. And I'm gonna go to power management mode and set to prefer maximum performance. That's all you need to do to get smooth gameplay uh, and I would recommend restarting the system after doing all these changes once. So guys thanks for watching this video don't forget to hit like subscribe leave a comment if you have a question and share it with your friends if you found it useful you can check out my other videos up here and I'll see you guys in the next one.